Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. This is Bharat and we are looking into the series of biology series of lectures friends and it is a good news for us. So today we are going to complete this entire sub subject of biology friends. We have almost completed all the subject all the topics and only classification of plant A is left out which we are going to complete it today. If you want this PDF notes you can go to the description box in that description box you can see a link from that link you can download the biology notes as well as physics notes and some of the geography which was kept for free friends okay classification of plantae the study of different types of trees plants is called botany friends and the father of botany is Theophrastus in the year 1883, Eichler has classified the bot botanical world into some parts, friends, that we are going to see today. The plant A classification, that is, the plant kingdom is divided into, in the first level, it is divided into cryptogamy and phenerogamy. Cryptogamy means plant without seeds. And phenerogamy is a plant bearing seeds, friends. Okay, cryptogamy doesn't have any seeds, phenerogamy has seeds, friends. Further, the cryptogamy is divided into three categories that is, thallophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta, friends. Whereas phenerogamy is divided into gymnosperms and angiosperm. And the first, we will see Thallophyta is, we have two categories, Algae and Fungi. Friends. Whereas, Pteridophyta is divided into lycos, Lycopsida, Silopsida, phino, Phenopsida and Pteropsida. Friends. And Angiosperm is divided into monocotyledons and dicotyledons. So, first of all, we will see the classification of plants. The entire plant kingdom is divided into cryptogamy and phenerogamy depending upon the presence of seeds and flowers, friends. Okay, cryptogamous plants ha doesn't have flower or nor seeds, friends. So, it is classified into Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta. Thallophyta, the largest group of plant kingdom, friends. Plant not differentiated into roots, stem and leaves. See, friends, here in Thallophyta type of plants, we can't differentiate this is leaf and that is stem and this is root. We can't differentiate. But it has some body that is called thallus. And this is divided into algae and fungi friends and if we come to algae the study of algae is called phycology and they have chlorophyll see friends what if some uh, plant or animal has if the plant has chlorophyll then it is autotrophic autotrophic means that it has capability to produce its own food so this is autotrophic friends and we have to remember that algae is unicellular and colonial in nature it it comes in groups friends so it it can be multicellular and aquatic friends it can be unicellular or multicellular but it has chlorophyll friends and it is aquatic in nature the chlorella algae is one type of algae which is used in the space aircrafts an astronaut can get protein food water and oxygen by sowing the chlorella algae in the tank of the aircraft. So, chlorella is known as space algae friends. Another important bit is agar agar is prepared from algae friends. And now we will see fungi. The study of fungi is called mycology. Fungi are non-green whereas algae are algae contains chlorophyll friends. So, but fungi are non-green and do not have chlorophyll. They are heterotrophic in nature. They have to depend on others for food and doesn't have 
definite tissue friends example they have already seen fungi are mushrooms molds puff balls toad balls yeast and more are the most common seen fungi these fungi cells are made of chitin friends this is also important bit and rhizopus is a fungi commonly known as bread mold the question came on bread uh, what kind of fungi is seen usually is rhizopus friends next classification is bryophyta this is the first group of land plants group derives its name from the mosses friends which grows on rocks walls and tree tongue, trunks in moist and shady places see friends here you can see in subtropical tropical forests or you can see in some part of not not some part of in most part of kerala or in northeastern states where always after the monsoon season or during the monsoon season all the rocks walls on top of the houses and tree tongue trunks are mostly covered by these mosses friends and this group falls under the bryophyta they lack roots flowers and seeds friends mosses all also retain moisture like sponges bryophyta lack lack xylem and phloem tissues friends also called amphibian category of the plant kingdom because this bryophyta exists on the water and also on the land friends sphagnum is capable of soaking water 18 times of its own weight therefore gardeners use it to transport plants friends so sphagnum is kind of a moss mosses see friends it will be like this so what they will do they take a plant they cut the flowers flowers with the twig friends so they will they will insert that uh, stem here friends in the sphagnum and they will transport friends and this has capacity to retain the water friends this sphagnum has read uh, water retaining capacity for much of the time so this flower can be transported from one place to the other place without losing the water content in its in its uh, petals friends so that it will be it's seen fresh for the next two to three days friends okay this sphagnum moss is also used as fuel and antiseptic friends pteridophyta and pteridophyta they occur in humid humid tropical climates that is shady places forest and mountains usually grow on soil rocks in ponds and as epiphytes on other plants friends the pteridophytes have primitive vascular system plants in this community have conducting tissue but xylem does not contain vessels and phloem does not contain companion cells friends these are the points you have to remember friends so next are phanerogamous or floral plants friends so we have seen seed seed without seed uh, plants and these are phanerogamous or seed bearing plants friends these phanerogamous is classified into two subgroups that is gymnosperm and angiosperm in gymnosperm gymnosperm plants are in the form of trees and bushes friends trees are seen in the normal places tropical and subtropical places and bushes are seen in the coniferous forest friends which grow in cool climates plant body are differentiated into you can easily differentiate the root stem and leaves in gymnosperm plants plants are woody perennial and tall friends plant bear naked seeds and pollination take place through air friends the tap root are well developed in important gymnosperms see there are many uses 
from this gymnosperm plants friends as a food sago is made by extracting juice from stems of cycas friends wood wood of pine the odor and making for making furniture vapor oil is got from gymnosperm tannin which is used for tanning and making ink is also got from this kind of plants resin extracted from conical plants used in making varnish polish and paints etc friends now we will see angiosperm in angiosperm see friends what is the difference between gymnosperm and angiosperm gymnosperm has naked seeds friends so in angiosperms has covered seeds it is one of the difference we, which we can identify in angiosperm the range of size uh, the size ranges from minute floating duckweeds to giant eucalyptus trees friends the most of the trees which we see in our uh, in our uh, outside world is angiosperms friends okay it is it, it covers almost uh, 90 to 95 percent of the plant kingdom we can say that from small duckweeds to eucalyptus trees and silk cotton trees includes plants of great variety and water lilies sunflowers orchids all those comes under angiosperms angiosperms are seed bearing plants and well adapted to the terrestrial life they are seen on the land friends they occur in diverse habit habitats friends these plants represents represented by trees shrubs and herbs friends are either <coughs> these are also two types friends angio angiosperms are two types monocotyledons and dicotyledons they have a body well differentiated into root stem and leaves and here in angiosperms pollination in angiosperms is facilitated by wind water insects birds and man friends what is dicotyledons and monocotyledons see friends we can see the difference in the seed friends okay here the leaves in this member uh, exhibit reticulate or net like venation friends and show varied arrangement like alternate spiral or world friends the plant have two cotyledons on its seed in monocotyledons leaves are simple with a parallel venation see friends what is a venation venation is the see friends if there is a leaf like this there is a pattern that is formed on the leaf they are talking about this pattern friends okay these leaves see friends here it is in dicotyledons we can see net like venation see friends net like venation will be like if this is the leaf we can see net like venation there will be no uh, certain pattern it will be like connected from every side friends whereas in uh, monocotyledons you can see a clear difference monocotyledons it will be parallel friends okay so so mo these are not asked in the exams but we have to remember friends so we don't know from where uh, the question comes from so the main difference between dicotyledons and monocotyledons is uh, the venation in the uh, leaves friends and the flowering pattern friends in each uh, in in these flowers of monocotyledons you can see that having three members in each floral whorl friends okay the plant seeds possess only one cotyledon so these are the differences here you have to remember this if you remember this flow chart then it is very very easy for you there is plant kingdom cryptogamy and phenerogamy cryptogamy has 
डजेंट हैव एनी सीड्स और फ्लावर्स फिनरोगो में बेयर्स सीड्स एंड फ्लावर्स इफ यू कम टू तलोफाइटा तलोफाइटा ऑलगे एंड फंगाई ऑलगे कंटेंट्स क्लोरोफिल फंगाई डजेंट हैव क्लोरोफिल दीज आर ऑटोट्रोफ्स दीज आर हेट्रोट्रोफ्स द सेम वे ब्रायोफाइटा यू हैव टू रिमेंबर टेरिडोफाइटा ओके फ्रेंड्स इन फिनरोगो में इन फिनरोगो में आर सीड बियरिंग प्लांट्स यू हैव जिम्नोस्पर्म्स एंड एंजियोस्पर्म्स एंड एंड अगेन एंजियोस्पर्म्स हाउ दी पॉलिनेशन अकर्स यस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड मोनो what is monocotyledons and uh, dicotyledons in, in where we can see the differences that you have to remember so uh, with this video we have all we have completed all the syllabus thank you for your support friends and don't forget to download this uh, download this pdf friends i am so happy that we are uh, Uh, complete we have completed successfully biology if there is any topic which is left out please comment in the comment section if it is possible then we will upload those pdf also thank you bye bye